Glad you dropped by. You need this paper. Everything on the Institute, the public needs to know. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? It's all in the paper. I believe you. You are a real lost lamb in the world. Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time. You do that? Not now. All right. Uh-huh. Are you sure about this? I am... I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing? 
You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. Hey, Piper. You ready for that interview now, Blue? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. Now the uh, big question. Why come? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. Tell me. The Institute? Who were they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. Uh-huh. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. Now... Not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping? What would you say to someone out there who's lost... No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. A strong note to end on, Blue. That's everything. Uh -huh. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Uh huh. Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Most folks. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens, but it's home.
Diamond City surplus. Open 24 hours. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Do you know that Ricky is a teacher? Does Brahmin have two heads? Yes, it is it's true. I mean, knowledgeable. Hey, Edna. Oh, don't mind me. I can be so clumsy with my retractable fingers. Now, who can count to three? This is a school for children. Markets outside. Your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. The bills. Huh. Forget the bills. There we go. Oh, take your time. The literate keep me fed. The photographs. <laughs> he never did photograph well. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time. You're right. I'm sorry. That Nikki's missing. What has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just... I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old... Need something, Scaver? Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When the out comes. The most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. Hi. Don't bother. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Redeem! I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. <clears throat> hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. 
wrong on both tracks. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories. So you explore old... Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while... They'll... See you around, Hawthorne. Later. Hey, give me a minute. Hey there. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. <laughs> uh-huh. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. We call it Bob... Not today. That's too bad. Oh, a customer. Need a room? Mind if I ask What's you What's the story question? with this? Not much to say. Me, we sell food. Uh -huh. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waiter. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Oh, uh, well... If you don't thanks. live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? You're bothering me. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Look, Scava, I ain't buying anything.
to be left alone. So thirsty. Nuka Cola. You want a soda? Is that it? Ugh, come on. We can spare something, can't we? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Here you go. Real sweet of you. <gasps> ah, thank you. Thank you. They look like they could use it more than us. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? I, uh, I'm not saying anyone is a sin, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying it's, it, it, it's correct at all. And, you know, of course, the mayor, I mean, I mean, I would, uh, I, I have to read, I, I have a statement from the mayor's office. You know, it's, uh, well, I mean, it just, it just says here, there's, uh, nothing to worry about, that it's, you know, safe and all. I guess I kind of feel like the last thing I'd want to do is, you know, uh, go looking for radioactive material. But not Warren Smith. Here's uranium rock. Hey, I think those Bobra brothers are looking for you. Darling, are you sure about this? I am... My dear, you're perfect. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. Edna. I am so happy.
What if they're listening to us, like, right now? What if they've been listening this whole time? Hey, hey, quiet, all right? Yikes. Oh, here we go. Quiet, Yuffie. All right, Yuffie. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. So, what's the issue? Have you not listened? This DJ Travis, he's terrible. Makes me want to go back in time and prevent... Right. But, Dim... It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Oh, Deem? Right. That's this enough. This isn't funny. But Deem isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we were just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. You look tired. Need a room? Hey, you're that vault hey, well from the paper. Good to see returning customers. <laughs> Most die. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. Don't need anything today. Come back later. Sure. Vadim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiner skin. Maybe later. Eh? You're... Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell. What? Let's see what you have. Music. Hey, Vadim. Ah, yes, you. Famous. Uh huh. Let's see what you got. Don't order just. Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Always in self-defense, I'm sure. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? I'm on board. Why not? So uh -huh. I have contacts. People like it. They confront Travis. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis... Simple. Uh -huh. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go... Mm -hmm.
help me stay in the air. People like, uh, like this. The Colonial Tap House wants to remind everyone that you are not welcome there. Upper stands residents only. Was I uh, the only one besides Peter Davis and, you know, the woman? Yeah, I did not really sound like a woman's name. Hey, who are you writing that poem for? Skater! What, what, what's this about? Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What you have to say about that? <laughs> hey there, Maybe pal. Maybe I don't oh, like your little radio you. program. Hey. What's your problem? You're the problem. You're sticking your nose someplace. Now get the hell. Oh, uh, um... Hi. There. Hey there, pal. Oh, it's you. I'm here to give you a... I, uh, I, I mean... Right. I don't... Mm -hmm. I just wish they'd go... Uh-huh. Let's do something about this. No, no, I... I uh -huh. But these men, it could... Don't worry. Well? We're right behind you. Okay, hey. that's... I'll be right back. Well, uh, that's me. enough. Question for you. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you feel like you say something. Has been I said, to your I said, that's Are enough. Listening? I don't want Leave to me alone. Can you just bother <laughs> someone else? Look yeah, at sure. you. Thanks hmm, for stopping let me time. think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were, you, were you, Travis, were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Shit. You don't have to do this. <laughs> Guess they vanished for good. Travis. Whoa. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Again, uh, hi, hi. Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? Bring it on. Good attitude. Mm -hmm. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She mm -hmm. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks. If someone who was not her employer sug... Uh-huh. Why do I have to be in... Think about it. I am Scarlet. Uh-huh. Just do whatever, and you and I... You have marvelous bone structure. Try the mega surgery sometime. Everyone in this city is always jumping at shadow. Chill out, is what I say. Hey there, mister. Miss? I'm on a break right now.
Can I ask you something personal? Travis? Did he... Sure. Uh, ...heard about the fight? Yeah. Absolutely. You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed everybody. him. Everybody! I need everyone's Look, attention. Look, Travis is I a nice like guy. I can... Okay, I will. I'll go... And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood you... Nice piece you got there. Just keep it holster. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They, th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back, said Vadim owed the money, that they had, he, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed them and said that they would make him pay, and then they, uh -huh. they have to do something. Please tell me. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the, Travis might know. You should ask him, please. Mm-hmm. Gotta accept life on its terms, you know? Something bad happens. Just say yes. Look, I'm telling you, it ain't just a story. University Point, that settlement on the coast, white. Out. I sense. Hey there. What's going on? I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now is figure out how to make this right. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. All ears. I'm on a break right now. Hey. Shoot. I'm on a break right now. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up near Salem.
Thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. That's a good attitude. Because... Any, uh... You shoot first, as... Yeah. What a bunch of junk. Come out, come out. You gotta reload sometime, asshole! Nothing there now. Free for the taking.
shit's got in. Push all of them. Hey, something's out there. Blue Company! <laughs> of a setup just to get people sauced. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you.
Thank you. You are true friend. <clears throat> Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, Vadim. You are... Uh-huh. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get Always on good this? behavior, I, aren't you? I wasn't forced or anything. I want to try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Right. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do Sure. I mean, look at Diamond City. Uh -huh. Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything hap? It's enough to make me want. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. Sure, it can be scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the night doesn't go by because I know the truth. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I've seen firsthand our dad. He was part of the. Well, uh. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. Uh huh. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So. I paper. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. Right. Piper. You saved those people. No. Those people saved... But hey, I... I'm sorry. It's just nice to talk to someone. Uh... <clears throat> Man. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well. Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this, I think about, like, that's nothing compared to, anyway, 